Right, I'm waiting for one more set in this life. Could I can't, f could I cannot try and sit for the life of me. You know, I yelled his name out like three times. So, so man, you got me. All right, and we got Aperture. More importantly, Aperture versus Jesse Chan. It. Can't just drop it. It's just drop it around. You see, try to find a way to use the intangible feet. And it's free game. It's free because this game, this game is like neck and neck now. Aperture comes with retaliation with two spares and a back air. So, like, How is Aperture going to pass through? It doesn't look like he's dropping as such. Alright, a bit too. Aperture going got off the gun a bit too early then. Abyssus is starting this off very strong. Abyssus is actually dominating it pretty well. Your car is trying to find a way down safely, but yes, the Sonic Ball comes back, comes back up. Right, and I'm off. I'm off now. So thanks for having me. Support Aperture. Hey guys, apologies for that mid, that hype mid-match commentator switch. All right, so um, this is Synth on the mic now. We have okay, Carnage rushes Aperture. Let's let's see, let's see what happens. Let's go. Let me just update the information on screen. Microphone. The microphone is now being used by Synth. Forward throw from Peach. Projectile pressure. Pr doesn't really catch Sonic, but it's just good to put out sometimes if you've got nothing else to do, so why not? Aperture controlling the stage. I, I think literally the last two or three weeks I've commentated is literally been only uh, Sonic matches, so I guess that's a testament to uh, Aperture's skill level at the moment. He's going in hard each and every week, that's for sure. And also, of course, Ixis is too, because he's often ended up in front of me during my commentator time. Nice up smash from Carnage. Doesn't quite catch uh, Aperture's roll just there. But it was it was safe to throw out, so why not? Hmm. One, two... I'm just kind of downloading each of uh, the players. Yes, commentators can download too. <laughs> so bear with me as I observe. <laughs> All right, nice uh, spin dash into back air. That's a staple for Sonic. Nothing new there, but you know, it's good to utilize your bread and butter capabilities. Spin dash, just proving how safe it is. He, Aperture just spun dash, past tense, in there and went into his up B and got away safely. Again, another Sonic bread and butter. Uh, it, it's so great to do so often because you know you can just get away. Very hard to punish that indeed. All right, back here from Aperture. Carnage now is on certain, certainly on death percent. Wow, she used the up B, put the umbrella away, and just flicked it out for a second longer, catching Sonic in the face with one of the uh, little um umbrella spike thingies. I'm not sure what the technical name for that is, but it was certainly very hype. Back here, down for a back here. All right. Carnage, what are you going to do, boy? What are you going to do? Down air, okay. 
If he gets hit once or twice more, he's out. He's out of this game. Aperture taking his time, weaving around the stage. Lots of spin dash cancels. Nice spot dodge. Gets punished for it by the jabs from Carnage. Carnage utilizing the meaty hitboxes of his jabs in order to make sure that none of that spot dodge nonsense is going to pass. Uh, it's going to be done for free. He will not allow for that in such a set. No way. Lots of use of jab actually recently from Carnage right now. Okay, now he's spacing in and out. You can tell he's still got hope. He, he knows he can still take this, but... Oh, the back throw didn't kill. Yeah, this is this is certainly anyone's game right now. Um, Carnage might need to put a few more hit. Ooh, okay, up throw did it. Carnage, I was going to say, might need to put a few more hits in on there. But with moves like, for example, four there, when he's got his opponent off stage, Peach can still definitely kill an opponent at around 60, 70, 80%. That's no problem at all. All right, so first game goes to Aperture. By the way, guys, thanks for the, the shout outs in stream. I have seen uh, some of you calling calling me out saying what's up. So thanks very much for that. All right, let's get back to now we're on game two. Up B into up air from Sonic, good stuff. All right, down air into back air retaliation from Carnage's Peach. Both players now resetting to neutral. Aperture manages to find a way in. Up throw, nope, that the 50-50 did not work out in, in his favor that time. He, went, he opted to go for the up air right away and did not get a punish out of that. But not much harm was done either. Spin dash into up air. Goes for the grab, pushes it out there a little bit too early, so he whips it. Nice forward tilt from Aperture there. I've actually been doing my homework on Sonic just a little, little bit, so I actually recognize what tilt is which and which aerial is which now, uh, at least partially with Sonic. How about that? Carnage fading in and out using his float mechanics. Comes in with the YOLO side B, the. <laughs> the, the butt bump. <laughs> Carnage floating his way back onto stage. Aperture's certainly controlling the stage for the most part in this current game too. Nice back air from Aperture. Carnage, up a little bit too early, nearly eats a, a uh, back air, I think I saw there, from, from Sonic. That was uh, very, very intimidating indeed. But Carnage it man just manages to, to, to get out of the way just in time. Nice, beautiful. F smash to the left, out of nowhere, looking like Randy Orton right now, but it is not uh, a half-naked dude. This is a fully clothed, um, very elegant princess we have on, on stream right now. However, she is certainly a savage one. <laughs> this, uh, this princess right now, she is certainly savage. Just like Randy Orton. <laughs> okay, Carnage catching Aperture's landings. Uh, he knows that Sonic does struggle to land at times when he commits to going up into the air. That is one of Sonic's weaknesses, and you do have to do your best to exploit that. Um, if, I if I remember correctly, Sonic cannot, um, he cannot fade left and right very easily. His, his, his air speed isn't so hot, and uh, he is a bit of a sitting duck when he is in the air, whether it be that he places himself in the air or uh, his opponent pushes him up. However, Aperture is now on the ground and he's controlling the stage, he's controlling the ledge. Carnage attempts to make it back on stage, ends up floating around with his umbrella, and before he knows what hit him, he gets Randy Orton himself. And out of nowhere, Aperture takes game two. There we go. Now we are quite far through the bracket, so this is going to be a best of five. We're going into game three right now. Let's see if Carnage can turn this around a bit. He's been playing very close indeed so far, so anything is possible at this point. He just has to keep on believing. He can 
indeed be an independent woman, should he so wish. It is time to bring the full wrath of your regality, Carnage. Show Aperture what royalty is all about. Step up your game, you can do this. So far, percentages are quite similar. Aperture behind by about 20% or so. Runs right past uh, Peach and spin dashes through her back to the left to the middle of the stage. Very interesting uh, option there that he, op that he opted for. Aperture with the up air. Carnage avoids it but gets caught by this, the, the neutral air spin dash. Up throw, up. He delays the up air and he gets it this time. Has the download been completed? It seems like it may have been. However, Carnage is not one to pick the same option either time, uh, every single time, so we can't count him out just based on that. We are quite far through the bracket, and of course, the further you go through the bracket, the more dangerous, the more adaptive your opponents each become. Actually, catching Carnage with the spring just there, that's not, it's not often that you see that happen, but when the match is this fast and with that much chaos going on in front of you, when you're fighting such a fast character, you, you can get caught sometimes. Carnage looking for a way in, gets caught by the spring a second time. F smash from Aperture out of nowhere. A lot of attempted hard reads here, including Carnage with a hard read himself. F smashing Aperture off stage. Throws out a Mr. Saturn and Sonic is having none of that. He may be a hedgehog himself, but he has not got time for weird anthropomorph type uh, cute circular animals. No way. No way. <laughs> is Mr. Saturn an animal or just like a really short tubby guy? I, I don't even know. All I know he is he is from Earthbound, if I if I recall correctly. Guys, let me know. Give me the the uh, the full history on our boy Mr. Saturn because I really I need that I need the download on him. I honestly do. Okay, Aperture faking out Carnage constantly. Applying lots of pressure, goes in, gets a spin dash into up air. Carnage, what will you do now? Comes in with a dash attack, why not? That may have been a bit of a flop, it may not have been, but either way, it did work. Nice fade away into aerial just there from Carnage, catching Aperture off guard as he makes his way in. Both players clashing, their aerials um, both being exchanged, which is what happens in the air. Of course, if you're both standing on the ground, you will simply clank, depending on the percentages, if you do a move at the same time. So uh, both players, you know, left and right. Oh, Carnage just barely makes it back, uh, avoiding the spring. I think there was both a, bit of, a little bit of luck and experience playing a role just there. <gasps> the grab into back air, uh, back throw, and it's done. That's it. It was a clean, fresh 3-0 for Aperture. Well done, Aperture. Making Sonic Mains proud around the UK and indeed around the world too with his strong, consistent performances recently. And uh, GG's to, to Carnage. You, you certainly pushed Aperture as much as you could and you had some close games there. So, so well done, Carnage. Better luck next time. Um,